Hello and welcome to today's daily devotional. And today is August the fourth daily devotional, and it's still on the topic. I don't know why, but it's just the way this book is written. It's on uh, still to grandmother's house, part two. All right, so to grandmother's house, part two. Jamie fastened her seatbelt. Clunk. She was glad she was sitting in the window. This was her first plane trip, and she didn't want to miss a thing. And I don't want to miss a thing. Jesus, when I think of you, oh Lord, everything I can do, oh, I love you, Lord. Okay, soon the plane was roaring down the runway. Rawr. Oh, this is fun, thought Jamie. When they were airborne, she looked down. The rivers and highways wound through the countryside like yards of ribbon. Everything looked so tiny. From up here, she thought, the fluffy white clouds looked so soft and warm. So, oh, yeah, like soft, fluffy white clouds. Like cute and fluffy. Uh, from up here, uh, and looked so soft and warm, and they flew right through some of them. Jamie wondered what it would be like to sit on a cloud and softly float along. Jamie enjoyed every minute of her trip. She was almost sorry when it ended, but she was glad to see her grandparents who were waiting for her. Soon, she was hugging them tightly. After thanking the flight attendant for her kindness, they were on their way home. How was the trip, Grandpa? asked Grandpapa. Jamie's eyes sparkled. Oh, I was so super. Uh, Grandpa, everything looks so tiny and pretty. I wish I could have reached out and touched a cloud. They look so fluffy. Uh, someday you might just be able to do that, Grandpa said. Mm-hmm. Jamie was puzzled. How, Grandpa? Grandpa, Papa. Ja uh, she has someday Jesus is coming back to earth to take the Christians with him to heaven, Grandpa explained. The Bible tells us that Christians who have died will rise from the graves first, and Christians who are alive will be caught up with them in the clouds where we'll meet the Lord in the air. Maybe you can check out the clouds then. Grandma joined in. I think we'll have more important things to think about then Jamie laughed out loud. <laughs> yeah, she agreed. That will be even more exciting than this trip. Mum and Dad couldn't afford to come along with me this time. Well, that's really sad. But they'll be there when Jesus takes us all to heaven. That's right, Grandma replied. We'll all be together forever. We'll never have to say goodbye again. And it'll be really cool because there'll be no more like sin, death and suffering. And it'll be kind of cool. Or our old sinful nature's gone away. You'll have bodies and new spiritual beings. And you'll be with Jesus and the saints and the apostles. And you could be just like, oh, just, yeah, just praise God. Wow. And just pray for grace and strength to get through the seasons and for God's strength and courage. Okay. So now it's time for the how about you section. How about you? Okay. Are you on your way to heaven? You can't buy a ticket to get there. Neither money nor good works will get you to heaven. There's only one way. One way. Jesus, you're the only one that I could live for. One way. Jesus. Okay, all right. Diddly bump. Uh, one way you can get to Jesus. Jesus died on the cross to pay for your sins. You must confess your need to him and accept Jesus as your personal savior uh, to receive the gift of salvation. Um, if you do that, you can look forward to the day when Jesus will take you to heaven to live with him forevermore. And yeah, some people say just saying the sinner's prayer, is it biblical, is it non-biblical? You know it when you say your prayer, it's like with everything, like you really like with your entire being. You're, you know that you're a being in a body, you know, when your being is like weeping or crying out from with everything of you it's like lord I, I want you i need you like you know with all your being it's not just like oh that looks nice or yeah that would be nice to have jesus like your your being your soul your desires you're desiring the lord uh your being is desiring jesus saying lord jesus be my savior be my lord if you're out there please be with me you know just you know i'm, I'm sorry for whatever sins i've done that's caused offense to you or if i've sinned against others and um, whatever um Areas where I've let you down or let others down, you know, Lord, forgive me for whatever's caused obstacles between you and I and our relationship. Uh, please wash me clean of any wrongs that I've done. Uh, I pray for grace, forgiveness. Lord, you know, I, I want you in my life. It's, you know, it's between you and the, your heart, between you and Jesus. Um, but he, he knows that a sincere prayer. And, um, you know, if you pray... Um, the fervent prayer of a righteous man prevaileth much. I think it's something like that. Um, so he knows um, the truth of your heart when you're praying out to Jesus. So, yeah, look for him. He says, you know, if you look for me with all your heart, your mind and your soul, you have a heart. 
pumps blood around your body but also helps it to love people a mind you know helps you to think be careful about the thought processes and things and all the attacks from the enemy from whether from media and subliminal messages and comments of others you know keep your messages whatever is pure and lovely and wholesome and thinking of you know good things can be hard in this world like i went for a jog today earlier and it's like oh, I, I almost got caught off guard um so you just always have to remember to put on your body armor each day um and you know if you're single talk to your pastor and stuff like that and just well, talk to jesus as well first but you know always put on your armor but if you've got a mind uh, you know thinking of the lord loving the lord with all your heart your mind thinking about jesus with your mind like maybe i can think of a song to sing to you or like well thank you lord how can i help today or maybe should i pray for that person do i evangelize i don't know thinking about godly things um with all your mind and, and all your soul with all your being uh so yeah so today's memory verse is are you ready Today's memory verse, memory verse, memory verse, memory, memory, memory verse. Today's memory verse. Be ready for heaven. It says, then together with them, we who are still alive and remain on the earth will be caught up in the clouds yep. to meet the Lord in the air. That'd be pretty cool. And remain with him forever. And ever and ever and ever and ever forever and ever with Jesus, like the Son of God, Almighty, Emmanuel, all authority, power, I mean, gracious, kind, powerful, lion, lamb, almighty, righteous, holy, loving, can do anything. Um, I mean, we don't just love him because he can, you know, throw a good party and turn water into wine. It's because of his loving nature. Quirky comments, has a sense of humor. He loves the Father. He loves us. What he did for us to, I mean, just getting to know him, also learning when to be quiet, when to also maybe like, can I come to Jesus and say something? Or can I sing you a song? Or would you like to sing a song with me? Or maybe not, or like, cause you might be super busy. Uh, like, yeah, just, I don't know, getting to know Jesus and live with him, it's just like, wow, praise God. So yeah, that's uh, today's memory verse. Yeah, so that's August the 4th. Um, uh, one, th th <laughs> one Thessalonians, four to 17 then together with them we who are still alive and remain on the earth will be caught up in the clouds to meet the lord in the air and remain with him forever in jesus name amen god bless i hope you've enjoyed today's daily devotional and speak to you later